Hey guys, Clueless Crafts here, and today we're making an Easter bunny in a basket, shown three different ways. So let's get started. Welcome back to my craft table. I'm starting off with a ball of light brown clay, and I'm going to be using my clay extruder today to shape the clay into long skinny logs. You don't necessarily need a clay extruder to do the same thing, but this definitely speeds up the process. But once that's done, I'm taking a little mini bottle and I'm using that to form the shape of the basket. First things first is taking a small ball of clay and flattening it into a circle, and that's going to be the basket bottom. So now I'm just taking two logs of clay and I'm pressing them together so they're connected all the way down the length of them. Once the logs are connected end to end, I'm holding one end still and twisting with my other hand, and that will connect them in a spiral design and I'll make it look like they're weaved together. It took me a bit to make sure all of the twists were even and going in the right way, but once that's done, you're ready to start wrapping your basket. Now we want to make sure that the bottom disc is covered when you're looking at it from the side, so make sure to start from the bottom edge and not above it. But once you have it started, it shouldn't be too hard to continue. And with the extra piece I cut off, I'm going to turn that into the basket handle. So just making sure that I have it at the right height and cutting it at the length I want. Now this technique works fine if you have a glass bottle, but if you don't, I'm still going to show you how you can do it without. I'm still flattening the disc out and wrapping around starting at the bottom edge to make sure that it's covered from the side. But I'm just taking my time to make sure that it's as straight as possible. It is definitely harder to wrap without something to be your guide. So this basket did turn out a little bit wobbly looking, but it is definitely an option if you don't have anything. But if you don't have a jar and you don't want your basket to look as messed up as this one, I still do have a third method that I think will work for you. So I'm just taking a piece of aluminum foil and rolling it into a cylinder, making sure to flatten out the bottom and top using my water bottle to make sure everything's compact. I'm also just using some masking tape to keep the shape how I want it, but I'm taking that off before I put it in the oven. Then the steps are the same as the glass bottle, just making sure to wrap it around. So I say this method is the best of both worlds. You don't need a glass bottle to shape it properly, but you still don't end up with a wobbly basket like the other one. But now that our baskets are ready for the oven, I just want to take some time and make some cute little Easter eggs to fill them up with. Just using some pastel purple, blue, and pink. Then finally it's time to make our little Easter bunny. I'm going with a white bunny this time. I do have another video where I make a clay bunny, but I think this one actually turned out better. But you can see both of them and choose for yourself. I want this bunny to look like it just appeared out of the basket and it's leaning against the side. So I'm keeping that in mind when I'm shaping the paws. And now it's time to move on to the head. So I'm starting with the ears. I'm using my usual technique where I just roll a log of white, roll a log of pink and add them together. And when you cut it in half, you have two separate ears. I thought these turned out a little bit too blunt. So I blended out the ends a little bit, then trimmed them up before I added them on the head. Now it's just indent for eyes, a cute little pink triangle nose, and finally placing the ears. A little bit floppy and lopsided, but I think that looks cute. Some finishing touches and then attaching the head to the body and our little bunny is complete. Let's just add it with the rest of our creations and into the oven. Now it's just time for assembly, so I'm very carefully trying to pry the baskets from the aluminum foil in the bottle. Luckily nothing broke, so that's all you can hope for. There is some texture in the bottom of the basket with the aluminum foil and a little bit with the jar, so you have to keep that in mind, but if you're filling it up, it really doesn't matter. So just some super glue for the handles. And I wanted to make them look a little bit more like Easter baskets. And you know the baskets always have that like fluffy, sparkly crap. And I had these little ornament strings from Christmas. They were sparkly and silver and I thought they'd be perfect. So I cut them up into tiny pieces and packed the baskets with them. Added some eggs and our bunny. Alright, and this is the final product. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you can subscribe as I put out new videos every week. Or if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, just leave a comment below. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!